Hey everyone, Trancha Dan here. I just want to very quickly give a mention to the very fast approaching Eastern Invertebrate Show, of course, hosted by Invert Show UK. The Northern Show is absolutely fantastic, the Western Show is fantastic, and now it's time for the Eastern Show. This will be held in Bedford on the 16th of September, so please come along if you're able to do so. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Please check it out, and hopefully I'll see you there. Hello everyone, Trancha Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you all a few uh, updates on a couple of things that have been requested. There's still a lot more to go through. And I'd also like to very quickly apologise for the lack of actual uploads recently uh, with the Western Invert Show, which was last week, uh, which was an absolute blast. I had a great time at the show, got to meet loads of you, got loads of footage. Uh, it's taken me a long time to get that video done and that's where my priorities have been. However, I wanted to try and start getting videos up as well as working on that because I need to sort of keep uploading so uh, please be patient my western videos my upload uh, my pickup videos are coming and uh, yeah loads of great content that I hope you all enjoy before I begin this uh, before I begin this video please don't forget to check out the description there are some links there that you might find uh, useful if you'd like to support me I do have a Patreon and a PayPal as well as a peer box if you want to send me anything and some other links to some other websites that I think you might enjoy if you are a fan of my channel and the kind of content that I, uh, that I upload and with that said of course finally don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment and let's uh, take a look at the animals so in this video I'm going to begin by taking a look at the crab now the crab is doing really really well lots of you always ask me how the crab is doing, it's alive, it's feeding fantastically, as you will see in just a second. However, one thing that is not doing very well is my uh, file huntsman which died a couple of days ago. I gave an update to that in my recent live stream and it seemed like a shame to waste a uh, spider. So of course, feed to the crab and as you can see the crab will take it down, <laughs> it's not fussy eater at all. So uh, it's a shame to see the file huntsman go like this but it's a shame to waste. So uh, let's look at the crab, which is doing fantastically. So next up, we'll be taking a look at the African predatory beetle. Now, I do not know anyone else that actually has one of these. I know people that keep the Egyptian ones, but not the African ones. So it's pretty cool. She's coming up to three and a half years. I think I've had her for, so she's doing really, really well. And we're gonna be feeding her a grub. So uh, let's see how she gets on with this. And you'll actually see that she's actually struggling with this. She can't actually uh, break through the, um, you know, the, the skin of it, shall we say. It's, uh, it's too sort of thick for her. So I will have to sort of help it along with a pair of scissors. Unfortunately, it's not a very nice thing to do, but uh, once I've done that, she should be able to get in and finish it off. So there's a couple of things, but there's one more thing that I want to share with you, and that is a look at this awesome spider. So this is the enclosure of my mature male Chromatopalma cyanopubescence, the green bottle blue, and uh, he's actually just gone inside, it was a bit of a shame, so I'm going to try and feed him a grub and see whether we can lure him out and have a better look at him. That didn't take him too long. And you can see he's definitely a mature male. See the uh, you can see his hooks. Yeah. And his uh bulbous pedal pops. Shame he won't come on more. And one question that I get asked all the time on my channel is which spiders do I recommend for beginners? And this is one of them. If you get the chance to buy one of these as thing juvenile or even an adult, I personally do recommend them. And a great species to keep. I 
I don't think he's going to come out any more than that, which is a shame. I mean, he's freshly molted, so he's really, really colourful. I'd love to, I'd love to be able to show him to you, but uh, he's not coming out all the way just yet, which is a shame. Unfortunately, the male did not want to fully come out and show himself, which is a shame because he looks really, really beautiful. However, I have to head on over to my Instagram at Tarantula Dan, and uh, when I sort of see him out and about, I will try and get some pictures of him and maybe some videos of him in the future. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get a better look at him, but at least you kind of can see how he is, I guess. So that's it for this video, everyone. I know it's sort of a very short one, but I do have lots of other editing get on with the other videos I'm trying to keep these fairly short at the minute but for anyone that thinks I am going to be stopping uploading videos or I'm changing the way I'm doing videos I'm not I'm still going to be doing my usual kind of videos I'm still going to be doing my super long 20 minute half an hour long videos um, you know all that stuff is still going to be happening as well as the live videos but at the moment lots of things going on that are uh, I don't have enough time to do everything at once so I'm trying to you know manage them or individually on my own time which is a bit difficult but uh, i will get everything done caught up and stuff like that so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video please like i said like leave a comment subscribe and feel free to share this with anyone who you think may enjoy it and of course thank you for watching take care and i'll see you soon in the next video bye from everyone